is Adrian here on Love Live Life, encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. In the past video, I did Family of Cain. If you want to check that out, so that would be in the description box down below. All the links of the previous videos will be in the description box down below. Now I'm going to be reading A New Sun. I'm still in the chapter Genesis. I'm reading chapter 4, verse 25 through the 26 in the new, the study Bible, New King James Version. You know, yeah, the New King James Version, study Bible. The past video, we just went over how your actions can lead to your generational actions, you know, how it can be passed down to the younger generation. So let's get to it. <laughs> A new son. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and named him Seth. For God has appointed another seed for me instead of Abel, whom Cain killed. And as for Seth, to him also a son was born, and he named him Enoch. Then man began to call on the name of the Lord. Adam and Eve were so grateful that they was able to have another child. Because Cain killed Abel and their other son. So they end up having another son. They started praising God, praising the Lord, calling on, on the Lord's name, you know, and thanking him for another chance to raise their son. And I noticed there are people that have been through a situation where they have lost a child. So Imagine Adam and Eve losing their child. It's, it's like very devastating. Something that you gave birth, someone that you gave birth to, and you feel all the love and you see it and feel the heartbeat. You feel your body change and you feel your emotions. And you start connecting with something that is forming with you inside of you. Out of you start connecting with it and it's a real emotional and spiritual type of feeling and no I do not have a child but I know a lot of people that have kids and I can just sit there and watch them all day and you know bond with their kids and I can see the emotion and I can feel it's almost like I can feel what they're feeling because they always express it to me it's um, a really tight bond when it comes to having a baby you know so by them being blessed to have another child they probably was depressed they probably went through a lot because it took a piece of them away to see their child die and it probably even hurt it even worse because it's by the hands of their other son Cain you know their son it's amazing how they kept their faith in God and God rewarded them another son. They they praised God. They went to God and they asked him, it says right here, then men began to call on the name of the Lord. That that verse means that they, they was thanking him. They were thanking God. They was praising God. They was loving him and appreciating the gift that they gave him. Especially after the first sin was eating an apple. They felt so bad about that. And they like, what we're gonna do now? Cause they got kicked out of promised land. So it's like, how they gonna live? How they gonna, they're trying to figure everything out. So by God giving them a child, another child, after they done lost the child, that's a pretty big deal. They, they still gonna remember the child that they lost. The child gonna share a place in your heart. It's gonna always live through you. Just to have another child to 
bear and that amazing feeling and to watch it grow and protect it and just be proud. You know, it's a different feeling being a parent. That's one day, to be honest, I can't wait for it. <laughs> like, you know, I'm excited for it. Their child, their new child, which is Seth, he met his wife. They didn't really go over the name of uh, Seth's wife. He ended up having Enosh, just making their family bigger, growing the family. And that's a blessing. So Enosh get a chance to have a son as well. Abel, he didn't get a chance to have kids. He didn't live long enough to go have kids. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's pretty amazing how God did that. Like he gave them a second chance. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description box below. I'm so excited to read them all and answer your questions. And please join me next week for the next video. And I want you to remember to always live your life, love your life, because it's your life. You only get one life, so let's live it. Bye. <laughs>